But the key point is why RD DAO can bring so many DeFi professionals on their initial reactions. Now about this point, I'm gonna tell you on my team house. So as usual, this is my full core strategy. So I only work my assets in Bitcoin and all the work on which related to these seven categories. And if you want to deepen your understanding about my full core strategy, please check out other video about my full core strategy. And here's my video link. Okay? And in today's earning DAO major matching category is here. Number one, B2C DApps, especially it's a DeFi aggregator applications. So which means that it's a pretty high potential project. And also they focus on DeFi space. So you know these, you know, three to five category. Decentralized stablecoin, DEX, and decentralized lending, also another matching category too. Okay? As usual, I'm going to apply the six and five points to so start for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point, point here, so the total score is 30 point, 30. And also, if you want to deepen your understanding about my, how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link. Okay? Then here's my total score for RD DAO as of now 25.5 points. And this is, I'm gonna only recommend investment in those total score is higher than 25 points. So, from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in RD DAO AOD tokens. And from here, I'm gonna tell you the reasons. Okay? Then, next time from here, number one, pain point analysis. So, here is big pain point in DeFi market. So, for DeFi, to cross the chasm to minimize friction costs for crypto investors to choose right farming products is pretty critical. Let me tell you the background here. First of all, DeFi is so rapidly growing these days. Literally, it's a killer solution on the blockchain space. So the total value asset block size in DeFi as of today is over 18 billion. Now, as you can see, it's huge growth continuously these days. It's amazing. But the still, on my analysis, you know, DeFi market itself is not the crossing chasm yet. So for your reference, as usual, this is a chasm theory. Chasm theory based one, we have maybe five cues of this. Starting from innovator, early adapter, early majority, chasm here, and early majority, then majority, and then mass. Okay? Once we can look at the major player in the internet industry, such as Google, Facebook, and Amazon, all player already crossed the chasm. Why? It's simply because they're gonna provide they're gonna provide super easy to use, practically useful products for the every single user on the internet space, which is over 4 billion in a global basis. So the same requirements also pretty critical for the blockchain industry too, especially DeFi, because DeFi is a current solution on the blockchain space. Then once we gotta look at the current you know, DeFi asset management market, currently you know, RD DAO is focused on it. As you can see, here's a major product of DeFi space, such as Young Finance, Budget L, or Vesper or Convex, there is already over few hundreds of asset management products, the boats product on ride on this you know, DeFi asset management market. Which means that every single retail investor, including you, have to choose right boat product for you by yourself. Simply say it's painful. So if someone can solve this issue, which means that effectively help you find out the right product for you. It's extremely helpful. This is a major issue. So this is a major pain point that RD DAO is attacking to solve. Okay? Then from here is the product analysis. So here's the RD DAO product concept. Triangle relationships. RD DAO, DeFi project, and yield farming. One of the killer solutions of the RD DAO is they're gonna provide creative services for every single asset management board product on the DeFi space. You know, from their community, all the time they're gonna actively propose any kind of you know, new asset management board products. From here, RD DAO, they're gonna have the brewing member, directed DeFi professionals who can accurately analyze the potential and the risk level of each you know, board product. Then they're gonna build the consensus inside there, and then they're gonna recommend those products to the, every single e farmer in the crypto space, which means that every single retail investor like you. Then you can immediately allocate your assets and these are recommended DeFi products here. 
Then these, you know, selection process also played a decent as model. They gotta take the dual approach. The talent hunter nominates both candidates who later on elected democratically by LD token holders. And the second, community nominations. Anyone can either self-nominate or to be nominated by the LD token holders. Then by leveraging those two ways, they're gonna actively manage those in a board member, DeFi professional, to accurately identify and recommend most high potential DeFi products or you know, those in a DeFi product is perfectly sweet to your needs. Okay? And then once we're gonna think about the those in a curation approach, which reminds me the YZZ model. Then YZZ is pretty successful, you know, game five products. And YZZ all the time pretty active to find out the new high potential NFT game in the virtual space. Then how they're gonna identify those high potential game is just like a grassroots approach. You know, YZZ token holder, an active community member, all the time playing the interesting game in virtual space, and they're gonna propose high potential game to the YZZ DAO. Inside there, they're gonna have a lot of discussions, and then finally they're gonna select which NFT game they're gonna put their resources, not only about the financial support, but also any kind of you know, activism support for each game here. You know, YZZ focus on NFT gaming space. Then RD DAO focusing on entire DeFi space. That's the similarity between these products. This one is a credit 41 board candidates for initial elections as of September 2021. Then once we get a good at each profile member here, you can see more detailed information. Then you can you know, check out the each DeFi professional's profile here. And then all of them are pretty active DeFi investor. That is why all the time they can manage you know, around over 10 million for their you know, DeFi investment stuff. They also in RD that apply certain level of squatting model to evaluation about you know, those capability as a DeFi professional. So this one is pretty you know, decentralized model to elect the DeFi professional for their product curation stuff. But the key point is why RD DAO can bring so many DeFi professionals on their initial reactions. Now about this point, I'm gonna tell you on my team analysis. Okay? Then here's kind of the you know, top page of the RD DAO project. So as you can see here now, you know, they already selected four major products, which they you know, highest recommend, all right? Then of course, anytime, they can accept new you know, proposal here. So every single you know, LD token holder or community member can apply these you know, new suggestion here. So it's pretty democratic model, this is good. Here's actually also unique points about how they can run these you know, curated you know, DeFi asset product recommendations. Once you can allocate your asset into any kind of products recommended on Arvind DAO with the creation model, of course you can receive certain regular APY return based on your allocations. But additionally, you also can receive LD token, kind of additional return on this one. It's pretty great. Then also they're gonna apply the DCRB model to this you know, LD distribution model. Then for those users who don't know about the BECRB model, let me explain with this one. The BECRB model is a key successful driver of the you know, rapid increase of the car finance TBL. The car finance, you know, combined with Uniswap and SushiSwap, provide CRB staking solutions. Then once you're gonna stake the CRB token on car finance, you can choose one of the two options for their staking benefits. First one is CRB token reward, and the other one is BECRB token rewards. Then once you're gonna choose you know, this CRB reward token, only CRB reward tokens, that's it. But once you're gonna choose this one, BECRB, it's a variety of benefits you can take on the staking model. For example, voting rights for CRB DAO governance model, also a share of the 50% of the trading fee. It's pretty great, and also up to 2.5 times boosted CRB rewards for liquidity provider compared with this CRD rewards only. So simply say, everyone wants to choose this one, right? Especially because of this one, up to 2.5 times boosted CRB rewards for liquidity providers. It's amazingly beneficial. But because of this unique feature, this is, you know, DEX TVL, September 2021. Here's total TVL of the car finance. It's already overwhelmed, mini stop the sushi swap. Then how the car finance achieved this stat is actually convex finance. So convex finance is run by car finance, and then this product similar to the yarn finance. Then look at this TVL size. It's overwhelming yarn finance, as you can see here, right? 
because you know convex finance model they're gonna apply the DECRB model as I told you that 2.5 times boosted reward because those boosted reward those retail investors staking more CRB assets they can get the higher boosted rewards that is why a lot of lots of crypto investors especially DeFi professionals investment in their token to the convex finance so almost over 50 percent of the TBL on the car finance as you can see here is held by convex finance this means once Ardindao applied a similar model here their TBL also rapidly growing up that's the key thing I want you to understand here okay then here is value card portion analysis so Ardindao here currently they don't have any kind of direct competitor at this moment but they have a couple of indirect competitors. First one is Yam Finance and then the Reef. Then about the frictionless for investors' product choice is Ardindao, of course, score A because they're gonna take the curation model. But Yam Finance is not that quite good. But Reef Finance, they're gonna provide a little bit unique user experiences, especially very different from the Ardindao. So I also put the score A here. Next one is uh, transparency for product development and selections. Yam Finance, of course, it's A because it's fully decentralized their DAO ecosystem, it's pretty active. Then Arnie DAO, also their origin, starting from the decentralized model, and for the detail, I can tell you later, but I also put the square here, okay? Then Leaf Finance is still a little bit cross model, so I score C here. Then think about the only uniqueness, as of now, about Arnie DAO, is this one, boosted real model. These feature, the Yahoo Finance, Leaf Finance, have not developed that yet, then, so thinking about the competitiveness of the RD model, it's currently boosted real here. Then for your reference, why I think the Yang Finance is an indirect competitor? Because Yang Finance these days, just like a portal site, any kind of DeFi votes product for the retail investor. So they already partnered with you know Bachadel, Pico, and Cree and Apocalypse. And also a new player will come here too. Once Yang Finance also developed a pretty simple integrated UI and also curated experiences, that would be also great slats for the RD DAO too, okay? And the other one is this one, Leaf Finance. They also applied a pretty unique user experience here. They already set the risk model here for the retail investor, low, medium, high. Once they're gonna decide the cash allocation for this risk level model, then they can choose their favorite products, all right? So this UI is pretty effective way to help the user to effectively manage their portfolio so it's a different UX design model compared with RD DAO but to me this is also indirect competitor for the RD DAO from the user experience perspective that's the key things I want you to understand here too okay then number three team analysis so here's RD DAO member actually we can identify only one person for the full time based one is Sharing Wu as you know I already have the you know, great live interview with her and also she's not gonna so actively in open her career background, but it's pretty clear that she's a great financial specialist to develop this project, all right? Then through the discussion with her, I can tell you that adding down starting model as a DeFi project, it's pretty similar to the Bitcoin and the Yang Finance. That's another thing I want you to understand here. Then I'm gonna also see the pretty high potential for this DAO formation here because of their investor and advisory team, pretty professional and influential. For example, Alexander, he's a founder of the Dragonfly, one of the major crypto funds in the virtual space. Ashwin, also he's an active investor from the Dragonfly too. And Hawk, he's a co-founder of the Umar. And then next one, Kai, he's also the core member of the Synthetix, one of the major derivative decks in crypto space. And if you see Roba, he's also one of the core members of the Compound. You see this here? They are so special and professional on the DeFi space. Then those players, including other, pretty active to help Charlie to develop the you know, pretty effective DAO ecosystem. This is amazing. Okay. Then number four, execution power analysis. So still, the RD DAO is pretty early stage project, so we don't have a lot of stats to analyze their potential or execution power as of now. But one of the great reference for us is this one: their TVL for their liquidity pool system. So they're gonna provide you know, LD pair such as East LD on Uniswap or like you know LD in USDC and Car Finance still. Their TVL size within three days already reached over 500 million. This is pretty you know powerful execution power of their community member. 
with these stats, I'm still recognizing that there's pretty high potential of this project, okay? Because once we're going to compare, you know, these you know, TVL size with asset management players such as Legion, Bunchadel, almost same level. Of course, we cannot likely compare with these stats with the Aladdin DAO, but for reference, as you can see here, how the community power of the Aladdin DAO is pretty powerful. Uh, also, pretty active and deep engagement for this project. Okay? Then, another element to analyze the execution power is this one. So, as we know, these days, Root is pretty high potential project in the NFT space. Then, once the Root is getting live on the project, Arlene DAO community immediately make the new proposal that Arlene DAO also should provide liquidity pool on a root mining model, LD and root you know, pair on the Uniswap. You know, these you know, activeness and also agileness of DAO community, as we can see here, that huge potential power as a DeFi player in the crypto space. Okay? And then number five, token economy analysis. So these are the token economy design metrics which I made and a major matching category of the RD DAO is here. DAPS as a DeFi aggregator, also DEX, D stablecoin, D lending. Okay? Then this is my analysis for the network effects on the LD. Of course it's just still initial stage, so that is why I see the some of the elements, see the hypothetical one. So that's the things I want to understand here. Then this is starting point. Crypto assets holder feels annoying to choice, right finding bots. So those people, they're going to move their assets into the Aladdin DAO, then user can frictionlessly can find the right both products. Also, you know, those retail investors securely and safely can gain better performance than their direct choice. So they can achieve more better customer experiences. So this is their primary growth engine for active user growth. Okay? Here's second engine growth, asset growth, or the ALD tokens. By leveraging this primary growth engine here, this is the critical elements they have to achieve on the second growth spiral. Staking incentives for LD tokens, such as boost reward or something. This model here, all the time they can achieve less token supply on the exchange, so that is why they can achieve less than inflation on LD token, so they can achieve the steady asset value growth on the LD token, which also provide a better customer experiences here. Then they can maximize their network effect on LD tokens. This is also pretty critical element for their success in long term. Okay? Then, as usual, this is a benchmark analysis as of September 2021. So, on my analysis, major benchmark player for the RD DAO is two. First one is BlackRock, the other one is Berkshire Hathaway. So, to me, the RD DAO simply says it's kind of decentralized BlackRock. So, from this perspective, of course, their market cap is a benchmark. You know, so, RD DAO current market cap is 70 million, then BlackRock current market cap is 150 billion. Okay? Then once they're going to elevate or evolve their products or platform player, it's much more successful way. Of course, also we can target on decentralized Berkshire Hathaway. Current market cap of Berkshire Hathaway is 625 billion. Still, as you can see here, that their product model is pretty high potential from this benchmark analysis. Then to get over these two major players on the financial industry, one of the key solutions that R&D now need to focus on as of now is curation and staking. That will be key as of now, okay? Then, about governance DAO. Their product itself is DAO based one from the start. So, once we can look at their DAO governance website or RD DAO, it's pretty active all the time. Currently, they have over 100 members. Even, they're gonna just start the project. Very early stage. This number is great, okay? All right, number six, hype cycle analysis. So here is Gartner Hype Cycle Analysis, Blockchain Technology 2021 versions, and a major matching category of the RD DAO is here. Number one, decentralized applications. Then the other one is DeFi, of course. And then currently they do not have you know, NFT product yet. But you know, as I told you that you know, they are also working on Route 2, this would be an you know, indirect matching category. Then once they are fully working on an NFT product too, they can also leverage this you know, high potential momentum here too. Since you know all the time these you know DApps, DeFi, and fungible and also NFT token stuff, it's all the time pretty hot investment topics on the blockchain space. So I think that we can leverage certain level of momentum from these three elements. Okay? Then finally, the total squad dates. So about pain points, I set the 5.0 without any questions. As I told you that DeFi aggregations, it's pretty important killer solution area on the DeFi space. 
especially crossing the chasm, which means that we gotta make the Google or Facebook level product on the device space. So 5.0. Product 4.0 still is pretty early stage, but there are you know these influence creation approach is pretty you know accurate directions to scale the product. So 4.0. Team level 4.5. As I told you that their team is fully decentralized one. They don't have any kind of official entity. And their active supporter, as I told you in the previous slide, it's pretty influential and powerful. So, you know, I set the 4.5 here. And the execution power, 4.0. It's still early stage, but once we're gonna look at you know, their threshold level of TBL, I'm gonna see the certain level of potential here, so I set the 4.0 here. Token economy, 4.0. Once we're gonna look at you know, their pool candidates, it's pretty defined professional player out there, I'm gonna see the start delivery of gross potential here, and then in parallel, since they are also planning to apply the you know car finance boost run model here, I'm gonna see the huge potential up there too. So still potential level, but I set the 4.0 here. Okay? Hype cycle 4.0. As I told you, NFT, DeFi, DApps, all the pretty popular topics in the broader space. And since Arting DAO really focus on DeFi aggregation player, which is the you know, highest potential of DeFi space, so from the potential evaluation perspective, I set the 4.0. So the total score is 25.5 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm gonna recommend investment in RD DAO token LD. Okay? For the RD DAO, I'm gonna see the huge potential that RD DAO could be the decentralized black rock of Berkshire Hathaway. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay? Now, if you have any kind of questions related to my analysis, you can think about to join my membership program, live QA sessions. So every week, I'm gonna provide a live QA session for, for my member. And then there, I'm gonna answer you every single question related to this video or any other video that I make. Also, I know you're busy. That is why you can post your question in advance on these live q sessions. Now, I'm gonna answer your question on the live screen time, and you can check out my recorded video later. So for more detail, please check out my other video. Now, here's my video link, okay? All right, so that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee any kind of certain level of investment return with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of in this video in crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.